Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to make a little candy jar gnome. Sorry, his sock is meant to come off so you can access your candy. It would be very, very sad if you can get to your candy, right? All right, so you're going to get one of these bags and it'll either be a white one like this or one with gray beard. They're both equally awesome. So whatever one you get, you get. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is get the jar out. So I'll get this one out. And most of them have the cotton inside here. It may not for you, for whatever reason. Sometimes I was just distracted and I did things a little bit different on some of the other ones. Either way, it does not make much of a difference. So just get out your glue dots, your little fluff, all the fluff. Um, get your sock out. Your sock may look different than this. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly the same. Um, you'll also get a little nose, maybe bigger than this one or the same size. I don't think they're any smaller than this one. I think this is the smallest size. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put this, yours might be red or it might be green. You grab this, you stick it in the sock. Sounds weird, but that's how you get it to look all hanging like this. Oh, as my ring gets stuck in there. All right, um, <laughs> so it'll be like hanging. It looks ridiculous now because it's not ready. Um, so then you put the cotton that you have. You may have more than this. You probably have at least this amount or more. Um, so you're going to stick it in only on the bottom half of the sock, not on the tippity tops, not where your toes would go. You want it floppy. And if you put all the cotton in there, it's not going to be very floppy. It's just going to stick up straight and it's going to look a little weird. Um, all right. So it's going to look something like this. A little weird. I know. Um, the reason why we put a pipe cleaner in and just make sure the pipe cleaner goes all the way to the toe. If you realize it's not all the way to the toe, then mine actually fell when I put the cotton in for some reason. So I'm going to just move it. All right. So the pipe cleaner is the red or green thing that you have. <clears throat> so it's going to look like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to figure out where your sock lays when you put it, make sure you put the cap back on, okay? You're going to act like you're already done and you're just putting the sock on it. You just wanna see where you're going to put the beard and the nose and stuff. So that's what it looks like so far. Obviously it has no nose, it has no candy, it has nothing. Okay, so what you're going to do is get your beard you're going to be like, oh, where I'm going to put it. You're going to put it as close to the sock as you can, okay? If you end up putting it too far down, don't worry about it. You can push your, the sock down. No one's, just don't put it too far down because if you put it all the way down here, your sock's going to look really weird. But it's also still not the end of the world if you do accidentally do that. Um, so get the glue dots. You're going to put them all over the, be all over the beard. I cannot speak. Please don't use every single one because you're going to need at least one for the nose. If you have a larger, you might need two. So at least save at least one if you have a small one or, you know, or two if you have a medium or a large. Um, some glue dots are stronger than the others. I'd say I use at least four for this one. So just spread it around, put one over there, one over there, there, maybe there, and just put it on, okay? I'm not going to waste any materials because in my opinion, I rather someone get these materials instead of me making two. And I like to have an example for you guys so you can see. And then you're going to put a glue dot on this one, okay? I wanna see how good the glue dot is gonna stick to this. So I will, I'll put a glue dot on it and then this can be on the, um, beard itself or you can put it a little bit on the glass or completely on the glass 
I put it mostly on the beard. See, that's look at how adorable he is. And you might be saying, well, how do I get to the candy? This is just so silly. The beard and the, um, the beard and the nose will stick there, but the sock just comes off and you just get your candy that way. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to give this person a new glue, a uh, glue dot. <clears throat> but yeah, that's all you do. So it's really kind of simple. So I'm going to put this, this little sock back on this good dude. And that you'll either get one like that or the gray beard. I think they're both kind of fantastic. You can see that this one has a red one hit sticking out because this one has been done for a while. All right. So my friends, if you've already signed up for it, great. You can pick it up on Friday the 10th. I want to make sure I tell you the right day. That would sneak if I didn't tell you the right day. Um, I, as I looked today, there's still a few left. Not many though. So go as quick as you can to sign up for one if you want to do one. Okay, this is for children. Um, whether they're zero years old, if you want to make one for them, you can. Um, however, I, if they should be four, at least four years old if they're doing it by themselves, at least. Um, because this is glass, all right? But if you want to help your really little one do it and they're two years old, um, feel free to sign up for it. It's for zero to 18 year olds, okay? All right, well, have a great day.